He says he didn't do it. That's why Norfolk City Treasurer says when he took the stand in his own defense, the stakes are high for Anthony Burfoot, who's accused in a corruption case involving hundreds of thousands of dollars in kickbacks and bribes. Head of your side's Jason Marks has been there for every day of this trial. Jason. And Tom, you know, Anthony Burfoot has never really talked since these charges came down. I've seen him milling about uh, during the four weeks of this trial so far, and I've asked him from time to time, how are you doing? And he simply says he's doing well, but that's as far as he would go. Well, today he did a lot of talking on that stand, and he's hoping that the jury believes he's telling the truth. Feeling good. Very confident. We look forward to this. A big day for the Anthony Burfoot defense team. That's because the defendant, Burfoot himself, decided to take the stand. Burfoot spent the first part of his testimony telling the jurors about his background from growing up in a rough neighborhood in Berkeley to becoming a college football star to his rise into Norfolk politics. Sachs then asked Burfoot about the Etheridge brothers, Curtis and Dwight. Burfoot says they were childhood friends and reconnected after college. He became very close to Dwight. He considered him a family member, talked to him every day on the phone. Burfoot says when Dwight was indicted for his part in the Bank of the Commonwealth scheme, he wasn't worried about Dwight turning on him because, quote, the two never did anything illegal together. Burfoot gave the same answer when Sachs asked about the day Ronnie Boone was indicted by the federal government. The former vice mayor told jurors he wasn't part of Tyvest and never took any money in exchange for favors on city council. Sachs and Burfoot counterpunched every point the prosecution made, every statement, every vote. Help for Tyvest? There wasn't any, according to Burfoot. Tyvest paying for renovations to Burfoot's home. He says he paid for everything himself. I think that uh, Mr. Burfoot has made an extremely credible, honest, and sincere witness. He has been, to me, extremely impressive in, in, in his honesty, in his spontaneity, in his uh, ability to answer and explain everything that the government is throwing at him. And Burfoot told the jury that he always voted with the city's best interest in mind. Now, the testimony for Burfoot is not done. Andrew Sachs still has plenty of more questions that will go into Monday because we take Friday off in this case. So this trial will start again Monday. And then, you know, after Sachs is done, the prosecution cannot wait to start asking Burfoot its questions. That's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.